We're at the 2023 Europeans with Elizabeth Clay. Elizabeth, you had an amazing year last year, especially Nogi. The end of the year, you did Nogi Worlds, Nogi Pans. I think you submitted almost every single opponent in those competitions. So how's it feel to be back in 2023 in, in the Gi? Uh, it feels great. I love being back in the Gi. I think a lot of people kind of have a little bit of a misconception that I don't. Super happy to be back in the Gi, especially here at Europeans. The last time that I was able to do Europeans was as a purple belt. So it's been a while since so this will be my first one as a black belt, and I'm just excited, you know, start 2023 off right. So you, you're in the middleweight division at Europeans. You got Talita Silva in your division, who was the 2022 champion. Some other really tough competitors. Can you talk about middleweight? Um, I'm just excited to go there. You know, the last time me and Toledo fought, it didn't go my way. I think I lost by advantage. Um, I made a mistake as far as, you know, strategy goes, which at the high level all it takes is a tiny mistake, and that costs everything. So I'm excited. Hopefully we'll, you know, see each other in the finals. The open class at the major championships has kind of been ruled by Gabriele Pisania. She's won, I think, the last five open class divisions at major tournaments. So can you talk about a potential match with Gabriele or just how you see the open class playing out? Yeah, that honestly, I've been wanting to fight her. We used to fight as uh, juveniles. We fought twice in juveniles. I won one, she won one. Obviously, that's, you know, a long time ago. That's like it's like six, seven years ago. It's a long time ago, um, but it would be ex exciting to get to, you know, fight her again. Awesome. Well, thanks, Liz, for Thank your you. time, and we can't wait to see you compete in your weight class and the Open. Thank you. Thank you.